This is very obviously a geometry question. So you might be tempted to open that geometry reference uh, chart that comes with every single section and see if you got anything useful. But um, they do say cube and they do say volume and then they switch over to surface area. But if we go over here, we can look at the three dimensional shapes, obviously pyramid, cone, sphere, cylinder. Eh, we might be able to use this kind of as a proxy for a cube, right? A cube is where all the sides are the same. So the length, the width, and the height are all the same. So we can do it here, but it's not gonna be kind of written this way. So my advice is when we're dealing with cubes, you gotta just memorize these formulas. Uh, they're very similar, um, but it's better to memorize them or at least get some practice with them before you take the real test. So the volume of a cube, I would just say is X cubed, right? X being the side length. So uh, in this case, we can solve for that because we have one of the two components. We have the volume. So they say 474,552 is equal to X cubed, which means I'm gonna need to take the cubed root of both sides. So we have our calculator. If you don't know how to do this on a scientific calculator, you can definitely do this um, on a uh, the Desmos calculator. It's maybe a little bit easier. Um, so what I do here, I have a button that has like a little, um, uh, an X and then a square root. So you gotta find that on yours. You can do a three and then you do that button. Uh, that kind of makes it so that the three is the X, the cube root. And then I'm gonna do four, seven, four, five, five, two. And I am gonna get 78. So that nicely worked out. So 78 is X. So just to draw a quick cube, what, what does that mean? Well, that means that each side is 78. The length, the width, the height um, are all 78. And that's because a cube has the same measurement on each side. Now though, we're being asked for the surface area. And here's another formula that you might wanna memorize. The um, surface area of a cube is six X squared. Now let's think about why that is. This might be easier to memorize if you understand where it comes from. The surface area is the uh, the uh, adding up all of the sides, so that each face of a shape has an area. It's, uh, each uh, if it's a three dimensional shape, each face is actually a two dimensional shape. So that's why it has an area. And so we take all those areas and we add them up. So for something like a box, that means that we're going to have different types of faces, right? The the front face is a different volume than kind of like the side face. And the top face is different than both of those in this particular case. And then of course, if you have a top, you also have a bottom. If you have a front, you have a back. If you have a right side, you have a left side. So there's still six sides to a box. It's just these are all gonna be different. The cube is short, is a bit of a shortcut because they're all the same. So what we're really doing here is finding the area of one of these squares and then multiplying it by six. So that's the, the X squared is the, the area of one face, and then we're gonna multiply it by six. So that's six times 78 squared. And once again, I'm getting my calculator. 78 squared is 6,084. So six times 6,084 is a crazy number, 36,504. And so 36,504 is the answer. And there you go. That is the entire uh, piece of the question. Um, I don't know if there's a, a faster way to do it, but I do think it is uh, very common for the SAT to involve cubes and specifically to involve surface area of cubes. So they don't give you that formula, but I think it's one that you should try to memorize because it will come up and it could save you some time or at least just make the question much more understandable because now you can just jump right in with the formula instead of having to try to figure it out on your own.